everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the urinalysis analyzers we use in class. Uh, both of them are semi-automated analyzers that only measure the chemical component of the patient's urine and not the um, cellular portion. So you would need to do a manual microscopic every time uh, in order to get a full UA on these. Um, both of them are semi-automated because you have to um, manually dip the specimen um, sorry, dip the strip into the specimen and then put the strip onto the analyzer. It automated. Um, it is automated because it then uses a light to measure the amount of reflected light um, at certain wavelengths in order to measure the component uh, or the analyte in the patient's urine. Um, the Urispec here uh, honestly does an internal calibration every single time you use it, um, whereas the Criterion 2, uh, you have to uh, do calibration using sticks, um, or rather strips, that you do not dip into anything. <laughs> They're just dry strips. Um, and you know you would need to do that anytime you turn this on or a new lot number or anything like that. Then afterwards, you would run QC. So anytime you're going to um, do a new shift or whatever, you would um, also run QC. So after calibration and um, and a new, sorry, a, a new. Um, a new shift, you would end up running your QC as well. So again, this one has internal calibration that's automatically done. Uh, this one does not. You have to actually use the dry strips and they are gray um, and that's what you would want to do. Okay, so um, that's it for that. Go ahead and look at separate videos in order to see how to run each. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you really like this video. Bye.